Hello, and welcome to what's bubbling a Zim people. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we are pleased to present what's new in Zim 10.3.0, including Zim Retina. Ooh, what do you think? So here we are at Zim, zimjs.com, and there's currently a Retina banner here. We press on that, and it comes to Zim Retina. This is 500 by 400 pixels big, and it's scaled up to fit a fairly large monitor here. And look at the sharpness of that. Isn't that amazing? So this is Zim Retina. We've used the device uh, pixel ratio and gotten this performance, so that's wonderful. It's very, very crisp. Don't know if you can tell that in the video, but very, very crisp. Even the uh, images that were smaller are crisper text very crisp corners oh it's just absolutely beautiful so uh, how exciting is that woohoo and it's uh, right out of the box now zim 10.3.0 so if you want to turn it off then you can set the frames retina parameter to false and that will turn it off what is what we've done is we've actually scaled the stage which causes or caused a whole bunch of issues with local to global, global to local, because now the stage is, which is supposed to be global, is scaled itself and local to local. And so that affected drag, transform, gesture, hit tests, a um, whole bunch of things. The one thing, if we take a look at uh, the Zim tips here, there's tips, some tips about Retina. Let's see tips down here. Boop, boop, there we go. Uh, Retina is here, and we've used the device pixel ratio. So that scales the stage, and we get vector crisp results. Adobe Animate uh, does that, and that's one of the things we were doing is working with Adobe Animate. And since they scaled the stage and broke all of the, <laughs> the, the local to globals and all, all those kinds of things anyway, it's just sort of like, well, okay, I guess we should make it so that we can scale, scale the stage and come up with that. So that's all under this thing called Zim Shim, and you'll see uh, what's bubbling related to how to use Zim in Adobe uh, soon. So we're sc scaling the stage, deep-rooted changes, and they can be turned off by frame retina parameter to false. Uh, one thing that is that still remains is when you capture a mouse event and you want to grab the E, uh, the, there's the event E.stageX, E dot stage X is has not been scaled, or uh, it's um, it will come up with wrong values. So you need to divide it by the stage dot scale X. Now that there's a scale X, and if that happens to be one, then we're fine. But uh, these changes, like I said, were throughout throughout Zim. So a fair bit of work to bring that up to, uh, well, I guess modern times with Zim Retina, this will look good on mobile and so forth, and looks amazing scaled up. We were always using a scale that was relatively large, like 1024 by 768. You scale it a little bit on the canvas, and it was okay. Um, it had always been a little bit fuzzier and sort of, uh, you know, like, it's a little bit fuzzier, uh, but not too bad. And now we're as crisp as can be, as crisp as, crisp as vector. So that is what's bubbling at Zim, the new Zim Retina. Also, what we'll do is we'll take uh, this opportunity in this area. This is a bit of a, a looser design here, a nice sort of stack design, so we can put some promos in here, and maybe we'll rotate some and feature feature areas in here. And once again, if anything changes in the docs, we are in Zim. We go to the docs. There's Zim 10.3. You can see there, and under the updates, we've introduced Retina uh, right here along with the link to that page if you ever lose it. Added retina parameter, device pixel, pixel ratio, uh, great, and that's super. It also goes on to talk about the additions to, to Adobe Animate. We'll do that in a, a future. What's bubbling at Zim? So, very, very happy about that. Hope, hopefully you are too. And uh, all the best from Dr. Abstract and those at Zim. Ciao.